Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So Triple G, Gennady Glovkin, is going to be fighting Saul Canelo Alvarez. And it's about time these two about to fight because there's been a lot of talk and a lot of BS. So they're supposed to be fighting at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It holds 20,000 fans. It's going to be a great fight. I've been waiting on this fight for a minute, for years, man. Maybe two years. Who knows? It's been a minute, though. But luckily, we're about to get this fight. And, you know, obviously, a fight of this magnitude is going to bring some shit talking, right? So Glufkin's talking shit about Canelo and Canelo's last opponent, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. I'm just going to go ahead and read his, his statement. It was very interesting for me because why couldn't he stop him or knock him down? He looks terrible. He must get the knockout. If he has so much energy, so much power, then show me in the next round. After first, what, what the fuck is this dude saying? After first round, then stop him in the second. What the fuck are you saying, dog? You don't even fucking speak English, Triple G. I'm done reading your statement, all right? So Triple G is upset because Canelo didn't stop or drop. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. He's talking shit. He's he's calling him less a lesser fighter because he you know he figured he should have been able to take care of that. And I was trying to figure out why Canelo didn't knock this dude out anyway. He was just there to be hit and beat and lose. That's what he was there for. But we're not finna we're not finna deflect that shit though, okay? Because Triple G was supposed to knock out Danny Jacobs, right? Are we talking about embarrassments or terrible performances? You look terrible against Danny Jacobs, did you not? I mean, you dropped him, yeah. It was kind of a flash knockdown, in my opinion. But I had Danny Jacobs winning the fight, all right? And Triple G looked bad. And he looked bad the fight before. So you had two fights where you looked bad, okay? And one, one of those fights was against a welterweight, Kel Brook, a dude you brought up in weight to fight when you had many other options, all right? So, I mean, everybody's trying to fight Glovkin now, okay? Because they know, you know, he's suspect, all right? So... I can't, you know, I can't rock with you, you know, you can say all that stuff about Chavez Jr. And, you know, that fight never should have took place, honestly. Both Canelo and Triple G been on some bullshit, both of them. They should have been fought, you know, all this this weight shit and this money shit. Like, first of all, Canelo, Canelo has a much better resume than Triple G, let's be honest. Triple G's fought two dudes, no, three. I'll give him three. Um, you know, David Lemieux, uh, Kel Brook, and Danny Jacobs, right? I'll give him those two fights. I'll give him those three fights, okay? i give Triple G those fights. But other than that, I mean, what was he, 37-0? and 0? He got 33 knockouts. The 34 bums. He's fought 34 bums and three real fighters, okay? Let's be honest. Y'all know this. So, Canelo Alvarez. I got Canelo beating Triple G, and you know what? He's going to hurt Triple G, all right? We know this. Triple G does not move his head. He's going to come forward, and he's going to get hurt. Or maybe he backs off a little bit like he did Danny Jacobs because he wasn't fighting the same way when he fought Danny Jacobs. When you compare, let's see. Well, what fight could we compare? Shit. Um, Dominic Way, how about that? You didn't fight him the same way. Willie Monroe. William Monroe, low key, was kind of outboxing you, though. I ain't gonna lie. He kind of outboxed your ass. But, you know, I mean, the rest of these dudes, you knocked, you really knocked most of these dudes out, man. But you, you was fighting bums. Um, Canelo's had tough for opposition, you know, on his rise. I mean, he's fought, well, he did fight an old Shane Mosley. Uh, he fought Austin Trout when Austin Trout was, I believe he was undefeated when he fought him. You know, Mayweather, you know, even though he lost, I mean, he's fought Mayweather. Angulo was a was a good fight for him. Lauder was, was a good fight. A lot of people think he lost that fight to Lauder. Uh, James Kirkland, I mean, shit. James Kirkland got knocked the fuck out. I remember that shit. <laughs> Yo, James Kirkland got knocked the fuck out. All right? Miguel Cotto, how about that? You don't, got, you don't fucking got a Miguel Cotto on your record. Tri Triple G, um, you don't got that name, but Amir Khan, that was some fucking bullshit. That was bullshit. Liam Smith was some bullshit too, because when Canelo moved down to one fifty, what was that, one fifty four? Yeah, he moved down to one fifty four, and he picked out the weakest champion at one fifty four. And then you fight Julio. Man, both of these dudes on some bullshit. If I'm being completely honest, man, they both on some bullshit. They both know it. 
You know what I'm saying? They both giving ex- they both got excuses. They both full of shit. If I'm just being completely honest, fuck picking a side. They both full of shit, man. And if you a Canelo fan, you should know that Canelo be on bullshit. And if you a Triple G fan, well, you'll never admit that he's on bullshit. But he's been on bullshit, man. So, you know, this fight, it's going to be a big fight. Uh, is there a rematch clause? I'm trying to think. If I'm not mistaken, there's a rematch clause for Canelo if he loses. But if Triple G loses... There's no rematch clause. So, see, that's how you know you a B-side, bitch. You ain't got no motherfucking rematch clause in your shit. It's fucking disgusting. You lost out on these negotiations. I bet your gloves won't. You won't be wearing them two, 2.5-ounce gloves. Them little-ass gloves. You ain't gonna be wearing them shits. You not finna be wearing them shits. You fucking B-side, bitch-side. How about that? You not finna be rocking them little-ass gloves, you know? So, you know... Triple G gonna get hurt this fight, man. Somebody might get knocked out in this fight, you know. And I'm willing to bet Triple G finna get knocked out. You talking about some, oh, this is the, the hardest punch he's ever faced. You know, let's keep it real. Triple G's scared. This motherfucker's scared. He ain't never fought nobody like Canelo. Um, so, we're gonna see what the fuck happens to Triple G. I, you know, I got Canelo beating the shit out of this dude. Um, you know, as long as he... Yeah, I think I think he beats him. Man. He gonna outbox this dude. He gonna he gonna hurt Triple G, man. Triple G's been hurt before by Walter Way, so I mean, and Danny Jacobs was tagging his shit up too. Ooh, man, Danny Jacobs was tagging his shit up. But Gennady Gennayovich Golovkin, Mister Six Six Six, we gonna see what he got. You gonna see what's up with him, man? Old as shit. Canelo's still young, man. You about to get old overnight. Triple G gonna get he's gonna get old overnight. You got uh his trainer, Abel Sanchez. He shook up. He's scared. He like, I man, he's scared, man. These motherfuckers scared, man. The only motherfucker who was scared on Canelo's side was fucking Ox de la Hoya, because he a bitch anyway. But, you know, it's it's been bullshit with this weight, man. I'm glad they're fighting at 160. And, you know, it's not no catch weight bullshit. You know, fighting Chavez Jr. at 164 and a half, that was some bullshit. You know, I you know I, I could say some good things about both of these dudes, but I could say some bad shit about them as well because you know, they've been fucking over the sport of boxing, man. They fucked us all over. Um, Canelo don't even fucking speak English and shit. Triple G think he speak English, but he just be using fucking English words out of order and shit. I'm trying to read off his quote. I can't understand what the fuck I'm reading because the shit don't make no damn sense. <laughs> yo, yo, you know what? It's all good, man. Yo, man, the best man win. When this fight? When is this fight taking place, man? I don't even know when this fight is, man. I don't even really care. Oh, it's in September, right? Yeah, September 16th. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that, man. I like my summer and shit, so... You know, I, I can hold off on this fight, but it's going to be a war, man. Uh, I got Canelo winning the fight. Let me know who you got winning the fight, man. You know, Triple G talking about Canelo had a bad performance against you. You had two bad performances in a row, and you ain't even, and you were supposed to fight Mexican style against David Lemieux, and you bitched out. Remember that? Remember that? Mexican style, right? Big drama show. You ain't calling nobody else. Big boy. What is that? What was that shit he used to say? Big boy, what was that? What that shit Triple G used to say? Good boy, there we go. You don't call nobody else no good boy, huh? You ain't call Canelo good boy. Yeah, you about to be a good boy, bitch. Can't wait. We're gonna check them gloves too. We're gonna check all this shit. You B side bitch. Hitman Boxing, drop a comment. Let me know what you think of the fight. And all you fucking Glovekin bitch, fake ass fans. He got some real fans out there, but his, you know, his stands, stands. They don't come in here talking crazy. I don't care. It is what it is. Hitman Box and drop a comment. I'm out. This world will bring you down with mass confusion and complexities. But I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, you see. Stuck in a mentality that says one thing and does another. Oh, the contradictories. That's when I visit my utopia of Capricornia to be free. Most would say that's not normal. But for me, life is but a dream and your reality is what it seems. I'm sitting in the crib I found on Craigslist Staring out in space, scheming what my next move is I'm thinking that it's time to move west No idea what I'm doing, I'm just trying my best 
not exactly where I thought I'd be Honestly, a nine to five never was in my dreams I've been feeling all alone lately Nothing I ain't used to since 88 as a baby When I came up out the womb Everybody knew It was something special about me that fills a room I never understood it But my OG told me it's a blessing I should use it to the fullest And that's what I've been trying to do But it's hard to keep a smile on your face while paying dues Damn, it's hella cloudy in the room And the shadow of reality is darkest when it glooms I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from the army of clouds Suicide dream about a month ago While I was sleeping on the couch in my parental's house That's when I knew that it was time for me to up and go So I booked it, couple friends took it personal Like why you just up and go? Ain't even bother to tell nobody that's rude, bro It was unintentional Conversations with myself, I need a hospital I think I've gone bipolar Half of me is conservative and the other stoner I think I lost the love that I had from a good girl The temp is negative 18, yeah that's a cold world Janis Joplin that's playing on my Pandora station Cosmic blues, just some emotional life changes Whole time, no, I gotta stop looking back Because the future's not a present, gotta get on I'm track I'm in the midst of the world I wish someone could see me Surrounded by clouds, free me It's like an endless dream Leading to endless roads I wanna be free from this army of clouds